Peter Shortman is one of the few fishermen to have actually seen something on the haunted beaches. He was dressed in a, like a dark duffel coat, black I would say, or a mountain blue, which with the colour was pulled up. He had a, an old sailor's hat on, and I believe he had a beard. Um, his eyes, you know, looked straight at me, and I just spoke to him, you know, I said, all right, or something similar, where is that, you know, and instead of answering, he just walked straight by, and I thought, well, that's a old sod, you know, and he disappeared behind me, and then I come to think, I thought to myself, well, he's not, he didn't come past me, and the only way he could have come is from behind this point, and the point goes out to sea, um, from the cliffs, it's about 15 foot high, and then it tapers off into the sea, where the high water would have been at least 6 foot of water there. Now that was the only way that man could have come to me, is round that point, he couldn't have climbed it, and it was too steep, it was just like mud. And um, I thought, well he wasn't wet. And I flashed a torch about and I couldn't see anyone. But I could still hear these footsteps. Um, then I thought to myself, well, oh, you're seeing things, sort of business. So then I sat back and went fishing again. And yeah, the tide turned. And only fishing coming tide in that point, you know. And so I packed up and started coming home. And then all the way back through, I was walking on pebbles. Um, pebbles about the size is, I suppose, inch and a half, I suppose, at that time, because the beach changes with the weather. Um, and I could hear somebody walking behind me all the time. And every time I stopped, they stopped. But not straight away. It wasn't like an echo. No, they, you know, they stopped. And so after a while, I got so fed up, I, I sort of turned the torch on it. And quick, but no one was there. But you could actually hear people, somebody walking in the pebbles. And that carried on right the way down. I suppose I must have walked. I'm not sure, half a mile or more, until I got to the, bed, the main beach under the Atherfield camp in Shepherd's Chine, where all the rest of the anglers were. And this one chap that I came across first of all, he said to me, he said, you deserve a medal, he said. Well, he didn't say exactly that, but that's what he meant. Um, he said, fishing up there on your own, he says, all night, you know. And he said to me, he said, you seen something, didn't you? And I said, nah, I didn't see nothing, you know, I knew I mean, made look a fool, you know. And uh, yes, you did, he said. And then he saw the question, he said, otherwise you wouldn't have flashed your light beam like you did two or three times. And I said, nah, I said, it's okay, and I walked off and come on home.